So we, uh, we, we, left, we left at 2.30 Thursday afternoon. We got a lot of girls that have lab and happy girls play well. So we made sure they go to class and uh, we leave uh, on UCA bus with Auntie, uh, get to Natchez, something blows up, boom, Auntie goes, oh, well, oh Lord. So good thing we were on a bluff and we coasted down and, and it broke down right in front of a Piggly Wiggly and a Mexican restaurant. I walked up to it and I saw about five cop cars and said, is this place good? They said, oh yeah. Found out later they get to eat there free. <laughs> so, but uh, we, we were there for about an hour and a half during that time. Coach Shock and Daryl and I don't know, a, a canine police officer had us a brand new bus coming out of Macomb and somebody come pick that up. We had to leave on tea. Uh, so we had a good meal, got into Baton Rouge. I don't, what was it? 12.30. 12.30, 1 o'clock. Played the next day, uh, Murray State, 9 uh, a.m., yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm going good. We had 12, 12 freshmen and sophomores on the field. We lost to Murray State, eight to four. First, uh, it was six to nothing, four week of blank. Started Kylie Studioso, a JUCO transfer. Throws really hard. Needs to work on our off-speed stuff because they hit. They, they returned eight of their top nine hitters from the previous season. We're down six nothing before you could blink. Jesse Taylor hits a three-run homer that makes it six four uh, in the six. Hannah Sturton hits a ball that we think's a grand slam. They got a five ten left fielder runs to the wall, jumps up, catches it. You know, game of inches. That's the way it goes. And Hannah's five three, one twenty five. She hit it as about as good as she could. Uh, but um. We, we saw a lot of good things, played a lot of young people. Kayla Gomness, a freshman, came in through uh, three really good innings. So we lose that game eight to four, and uh, we had our chances to win it. We, 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 we made a lot of, a couple errors. And we're young, you don't hear that a lot, but in a few weeks we won't be young. So you, you gotta, that's the great thing about softball. You know, you, you, sometimes you play an hour or two, boom, you play again. So you get to enjoy it about two seconds and you get to, or not be so mad so long, but I, I know Coach Rush and Coach Finley win, win or lose that you don't get to enjoy nothing. It's on to the next one. So, and we're the same way. I mean, as soon as the game's over, they the umpire said, "Where's the lineup card? Where's the lineup card?" And I'm trying to, you know, find my Gatorade and seeds. Um, so we turn around, and play Oklahoma State, a, in a really good uh, ball club in the World Series two years ago. Uh, so we face Murray State's number one pitcher. We appreciate that. We was hoping somebody throw off Oklahoma State. Those their number one pitcher from New Zealand against us. She's about. Uh, six foot tall, 220, built like a Greek god, throws really well. Uh, and, and they're a solid team. Uh, we lose to them three to nothing. Sierra Clampett, uh, our junior lefty who's been here a year, she threw a six hitter, threw great, it was very poised. Uh, we made a couple errors. We uh, gave up, well, two earned runs, but we didn't really get a hit. As you uh, hear, will hear, we struck out 10 times. Again, 10, 10 freshmen, sophomores on the field, but we played well. We had a chance to win. And, I know a football coach, uh, when I first started coaching, said, you know, son, as long as you got to have a chance to win, you can't complain too much. So, you know, they got to make plays. So we turn around, and I, we, we're never down about winning and losing. We're, we're stressing with this team. It, uh, it's a marathon. It's a process. I, I can't get hung up in winning and losing. Uh, we just want to go out and do our best, and sometimes we're going to win, sometimes we're going to lose. Next day, we played Minnesota, which had arguably the biggest team I've ever seen in my life. Okay, every girl was 5'9 or taller. If they were, and I know this because as Jenna Smart, who's 6'1, is walking through the team, it looks like she's on the team. All right, my pitching coach. So uh, they robbed us of about two home runs off the fence, and they could run. Uh, they throw a pitcher against us who's the Big Ten Pitcher of the Year on the Canadian national team, another number one. We struck out 14 times, uh, and sometimes we didn't see it, but they, we played well. <laughs> We played well. I mean, if you know baseball and softball, you know good pitching is going to be good hitting. I mean, 99% of the time it just is. Uh, we, Kayla Gomnes, a freshman, threw against them. She threw really well, give up uh, four runs and a lot of broken bat base hits. Uh, so we were pleased with that, you know, but the strikeouts start to get on me because I don't like striking out. Uh, turn around, play SIU Edwardsville, good ball club. We faced the OVC Pitcher of the Year, Freshman of the Year, and somehow, uh, um, we, we play stellar defense. We've got a, a, a few new girls out there. We're trying to just mix and match. I'm getting close. Uh, <laughs> fifth inning, uh, we get a, a walk. Ashley Boswell walks, and Randy Wallace, a, a true freshman, in her first college start, hits a two-run homer. I mean, just crushed. Uh, I mean, she's just smiling all the way. We hold on, win that game two to one. Uh, you know, it's nice to get a win. Sierra Clampett comes back. I know Coach Gum. 
And Coach Harlan wished they could throw their number one pitcher on Friday and Saturday, and she threw yesterday. So uh, she, we played really well both games. Uh, so had a chance to win our first four. It was nice to get a win. Uh, and then yesterday against LSU, uh, we threw uh, Kylie Studio. So again, she throws really hard. Again, got to learn to not miss spots. We watched film Saturday night. We're like, look, you miss over the plate in Division One. They're going to hit it really, really far. You miss over the plate in junior college, you might blow it by somebody. But you can't make mistakes in, in Division One. Uh, they got two slappers, base hits, a double, a double, a double. It's four nothing before you could blink first inning, and um, we bring Clampett back in again. I guess she threw about 16 innings this weekend, give up two runs. Uh, she pulled her hamstring, so we had to pull her out. <clears throat> Gomnus comes back in. I'm, I'm standing there, just kind of taking it all in. I mean, because it's, it's fun. We're so young, and, and they're so eager, and they're so awesome as far as softball players. Now, do they put their stuff in the dugout where they're supposed to? Do they keep the bus clean like they're supposed to? Do they ask silly questions? Yes. But they're good ball players and good people. But Coach Smart goes, you got to pull Kayla. You're going to beat me this week. I said, what? She goes, she can't pitch. She just said, I'm done. I'm like, what are you talking about? I go to the mound. She goes, I'm about to faint. I said, we don't have anybody loose. She goes, I'll pitch. <laughs> it's like, good, great. Get her out. We thought it was appendicitis. Fortunately, it's just the heat, okay? Kid from Northern California. It's 65 degrees yesterday. Be jealous. <laughs> yeah, it was hot. And she had eaten and drank water, but she's fine. She's still going to see the doctor, but she's 6'1", 120 pounds, okay? All right. And, I mean, and their coach is like, Coach, that girl needs a cheeseburger. That's what she needs. <laughs> she's gained probably 20 pounds, too. So, bring... Uh, <laughs> we bring Kylie back in. She finally gets one great inning, bases loaded, a couple strikeouts. We get her out. Uh, we have some good at-bats, but we – LSU gives away T-shirts every time there's a strikeout. They gave away about 2,600 T-shirts, it seemed like, yesterday. <laughs> we struck out 13 times against – but there was a freshman, but throwing hard. Uh, we, it was a large environment. You know, it's a great, great facility, pretty good weekend. I mean, we feel good about our team. Again, we're young. We uh, – we played 18 of the 21 girls on our team. One, one young lady's red shirt, and one has only been healthy for about two weeks in the past two years. And another one, uh, we just weren't able to get her in. So we play, everybody got to play, got experience. I know. And Coach Rustin's laughing because eight minutes is a record. This week, go to ULL, doesn't get easier. Play Michigan, number four team in the country, World Series last year. ULL, uh, who lost to Michigan in the Super Regionals. Play Valpo. A great program was in the regionals last year. We played with them, lost in extras, and we played Boston College, who we beat two years ago. But excited about our team. Uh, they're fun to watch. Uh, they play hard. Uh, Taylor Deer made – the young lady was here last week, made all-tournament team, five for 15, just killed the ball. Started a game at second, DH the rest of the weekend. So we're excited about that. Those of you who know Biggie, Biggie's kind of the person that stands out, 4'10", you know, 1'10". Uh, great tournament, played hard. LSU's coach was like, man, I love that kid. I was like, me too. So 